is up, everybody? It has been a while, hasn't it? Oh, let's say the last thing I uploaded was back in February from uh, the cruise that Jordan and I took. Finally managed to get moved into our new house. Want to give you guys all that update. We are alive and well, and um, Jordan and I and the kids have been in our new home here now since October of 2018. The list of honeydews did not end when I moved into a brand new house. No, of course, with the new house there is no landscaping. So as soon as we got moved in, we had to do that. We got the front yard and the backyard all taken care of. So luckily, we used to own a landscaping company, and Jordan and I got the backyard and the front yard all done in a timely manner. Started immediately after we moved in. We got that taken care of. I'll give you guys a quick little tour of how the uh, front yard and the backyard turned out in this episode. And the job, the new job is going great. I've been in since August, so we're actually coming on a year here. And it's going great, I'm really enjoying it. I work with some really, really awesome people. This new job is pushing me to learn new things and expand my knowledge of the landscape industry. It's really, really fun. It's a very fulfilling job thus far, and I'm really, really happy and feel very blessed to be in it. And Emmy just got up from her nap. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, I... Daddy's recording his vlog. Okay. Yeah? I'm down. Down where? Uh, oh, don't touch the camera. <laughs> Touch that. Oh, don't touch this. You want to say hi? Say hi. Can you say hi? You want to watch Baby Shark? Oh, you need to go potty? Yeah. Okay, we got to pause this. Sorry about that. We are currently potty training. Emily is doing great though. Uh, it took her about just under two weeks to consistently uh, not have accidents. Uh, number one, that is. She has accidents every once in a while with the number two, but she tries. She tells you she has to go and she'll run to the toilet. She'll try and nothing happens. And like two minutes later, she says she has to go number two again. She says Emmy has to go poop. Uh, she runs to the toilet, she tries. Uh, one time, <laughs> one time we actually, um, uh, she started freaking out because, uh, she had to go, but we had a few of those attempts prior and nothing happened. And then all of a sudden she started crying because she was pooping her pants and, uh, we rushed her to the toilet. She sat on the toilet and it was pretty much, she pretty much had finished, but, uh, shook her, shook it off of her. And so it whoop, dropped into the toilet. And I give her a high five and said, yay, we made the poop into the body. And uh, she was happy. And at least she was proud of herself. And uh, give her a little confidence booster there. But she's doing good. And she's got a handful of times. Uh, so I feel like she's like 85 or like 90% there. And she's doing great. So let's do this. So let's go outside. Give you guys a little update on the on the, the landscape, the front yard, and the backyard, where we're currently at. And then I'm going to share some really awesome news with you guys. This is the outdoor kitchen that we made. La, 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 la. So your turned out. Got a little transition here from winter grass to summer grass. Show you our little pergola here we got going on. Got it from the Costco. It's real nice. It was on sale. Plantation lights like everyone and their mom does. All right, we got got some citronella that actually helps repel mosquitoes and bugs. This is our chili plant. Hey, right, see here. New Mexico Big Jim Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's gonna be a little chili pepper right there. This the rest of the garden. We got some lavender and some more citronella for the mosquitoes. How's the song go? Got a skeeter on my Peter, flick it off. Got a skeeter on my Peter, flick it off. Just don't pick them. Okay, 
And this mint plant here has just taken off. And then Jordan picked out this lovely furniture here for underneath our gazebo. There's a little web in here. A little web? Yeah. They're going to eat your plant. Uh, I don't be too worried about a web. Well, if there's a web, then there's a spider. Spiders need eat the plants. Now, spider mite. You <laughs> get it? Because spider mite is a, is a pest. And like it's a play on words, like spider mite. Like the spider might do it. Might eat. Not, not one of your best jokes. I thought that was pretty good. Okay. Especially considering I pulled that out of nowhere. That there. That's not from a spider mite. That's from like a spider. I said spider. Yeah, but it was funny. My joke, my joke was awesome. Jordan, my dear, my darling wife. Makes the best homemade chocolate chip cookies. Guys, she makes them. She makes them from scratch. What was that? Do you know what the secret is? It's breast milk. In addition to the butter. You're full of crap. No, it's the breast milk. I know what her secret is. It's not breast milk. I know what it is. She's just trying to make you all a little uneasy. There. Shame on you if that makes you uneasy. Shoot. Shame. So, now we are outside. Sorry it's a little windy today. Here it is. The front yard. It's simple. Nothing fancy. But it gets the job done. And we're really happy with it as well. But this is what I am most excited about. It happened just a few weeks ago. And yeah, Mavericks! Sport, baby. Woo! Can-Am, side-by-side, UTV. I've wanted one of these things for like 10 years. I finally, finally got one. So stock comes with the Fox shocks and they are adjustable. Soft, medium, and firm. Pretty freaking cool. I also really like this model because it's one of the only models that comes with the full door stock. Like that's not an upgrade, it's not an aftermarket part. This model of Can-Am side-by-side -side stock comes with a fully enclosed door. Yep, pretty freaking sweet. Um, interesting enough, something as well that's happened, uh, that happened last week here in Arizona, Governor Doug Ducey legalized nunchucks. Yeah, I heard that on the radio the other day. I had no idea that nunchucks were actually illegal in Arizona. I'm not sure if there's some details there in it that I'm missing, uh, but as far as I know, 
But as far as I know, unless the nunchucks, like the cheap ones that are covered in foam, like the carnival, if they were like these, like legitimate nunchucks, um, they were illegal up until recently. So I get to use these bad boys now for a whole defense. I actually used to be pretty good, but now I'd probably bust my kneecap. So. All right, guys, thanks. It was great catching up with y'all today. I promise it won't take almost a year for the next episode. <laughs> See ya.